What's up everyone? Today I got a quick video on this small new feature that Shopify just announced on January 6th. It's called Section Groups. And what this new feature allows you to do is extend that newer JSON functionality that we saw come to templates in mid 2021 onto other areas of your theme, such as the header and the footer. The need for these new section groups weren't immediately obvious to me when I first saw the update announced on the change log, but after following the migration steps on Shopify's official documentation, it suddenly became clear to me what this new feature was and how it aligns with the direction that Shopify announced back during Unite 2021. Let's jump onto the computer now and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna start off this tutorial right inside the theme section of my Shopify store. Mine is Chris Testing Shop 2. This is a development store. Anyone with a partner account can create a development store just as an FYI for anyone who's new here. Now, so we're on the same page in this tutorial. I'm going to grab the latest version of Dawn. I see there's a new feature here on Shopify where we can click on a theme that pre-exists like Dawn and we can click on this little menu here to upgrade to the latest version. So I'm on Dawn 5.0.0. So if I click add to theme library, it's going to add the version seven version of Dawn. So we'll just wait for that to complete. In the meantime, I will copy and just call this Dawn version seven, just to make it extra clear, okay? So all of us here should have Dawn version seven. I noticed that wasn't an option on one of my other stores when I did this earlier. So if you wanna do this on your store and it's not showing up like that, you can just click here to visit the theme store and then search Dawn and then click try this theme and authenticate again. It's a little bit of a process, but if you just go in here, search for Dawn and click try theme and run through the steps, you can get the same result if this little drop down isn't available. All right, so if we go have a look at the version seven version of the Dawn theme, I'm gonna click customize to go straight into the customizer. And what I want you to notice is that we've got this section up here for the header. We've got all of this, which goes in the index.json template. And because it's a JSON template, we can reorder it. Um, this is a change that happened in online store 2.0. But essentially what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be extending this sort of reorderable functionality inside the template to up here in the header and in the footer. So we're gonna transform these into section groups and as section groups, we'll be able to have the same functionality as here where we can add sections and reorder them, okay? So that's essentially all that I see by hovering, it just goes straight to that location, but yeah. Just noticing that now, but essentially we're not gonna change anything on the front end. So if we go over here and click preview, we're not gonna be changing any of this. We're just going to be refactoring what's already here to use section groups. And then you'll see the difference in the customizer. Okay, so the first step, I'm going to exit out of this. Actually, I'll click out of both of these. I actually lost my uh, place here on the admin. So I'm going to, Go back to my themes area of my admin. And now let's get started changing version seven of the Dawn theme. So I'm gonna go into here to click on edit code. And if you remember when online store 2.0 came out, we saw a new option being added here to either create your template in JSON or liquid format. Well, if we now go down here to sections and click add new section, we can create a section in either a liquid or JSON format, just like we have with templates. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click JSON and then I'm going to create a header group. And if I hit done here, it's gonna generate some boilerplate code. In here under the name, I'm going to put header group. And for the type, we can just leave that as header. Now what I'm gonna do is copy across the sections that are statically included in the theme.liquid file into here because we need to store it in JSON. If it's statically stored, then we can't change it in the customizer. So I'm gonna go into my layout folder here, go to theme.liquid. And if I scroll down to where the header is, maybe I'll just search it, header. Here we go. We've got the two sections that exist for our header, announcement bar, 
and the header itself, okay? So that's what we wanna include in the JSON over here. Okay, so we're gonna go in here into sections and inside sections, we're gonna type in announcement bar, which matches the file name of the section, as you can see here, minus the liquid. We don't need the liquid extension. And then I'm gonna open up a new object and inside of here, I'm going to set the type of announcement bar. Now it's an important step to name this the same as this, which is the same as the file. And I'll explain why that is the case a little later. But for now, we'll just put in a blank settings object and then we'll add in the second section, which is the header, which again matches to the name of the liquid file and matches to what is in between these quote marks here when we bring in that section. So it's quite simple. We don't have to reinvent the wheel here in terms of naming. And then for type, again, we're just going to simply make it header and then again, an empty settings object. Okay. Now, if we hit save on this, it's going to error because we haven't filled out this array here for the order of how we want these to show up. And this is just the initial order. Of course, we can change this in the customizer later and it gets stored. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have announcement bar first and then we're gonna have header second. Now, if I hit save on this, you'll see the asset is saved with no errors, okay? Now that we have this header group, it's a simple matter of going back to the theme.liquid file here and getting rid of both of this because we've made reference to them already in this group and then replacing this with a sections tag. So I might just put an S over here, delete that and then put dash group after header, okay? Now, if I hit save on that and head back into the customizer, which I can do up here, it's gonna open up a new tab. Now you can see we've got template section here where we can reorder our sections. But we've also got a similar thing up here for our header. We've got header group, that text did not exist beforehand. And now we can add a section to our header if we so choose, which is not super practical because what other sections might we need to add here? It should already be in the header, but it just gives us a little bit more flexibility, right? So I can pull this down or up. The problem with this and the reason why you can't see anything in the announcement bar is because there's no announcement stored in there, but we can of course go in here, fill in an announcement, welcome to our store, you know, change the color and all the same customization options. But of course we've lost the data that we had before. And of course we don't want to have to redo all of our settings. Maybe there's only a few amount of settings where you wanna use the default settings, but it'd be much nicer if we could copy across the settings that we had before and Shopify state that on this page on the official Shopify documentation. If you've ever lost, you can look here. But remember guys, the documentation changes all the time. So I can't guarantee this page is gonna be here when you're watching this. But if this page is still available and you go to it and scroll down, currently it says that when a merchant updates their theme from a version that uses a static section to a version that includes that section in a section group, Shopify attempts to copy the static sections settings to the settings for the equivalent section in the section group. It's not clear when Shopify does this, but as you can see, we have created this header group. We're using the right types here and it's not automatically copying over, but that's not a problem. We can actually manually copy this over by heading into config settings underscore data dot JSON. And then we can scroll down to the object for announcement bar. Here we go. You can see if I click either side of this first parentheses, it's going to show me the end. So what I can do is I can grab that and then I can copy that, head over here and replace our announcement bar object with that settings object copied over from settings underscore data. Okay, and let's do that for header as well. I won't delete it yet just in case there's any issues, but I can do the exact same thing for header. I'm going to replace the object that we set here with the object from settings underscore data dot JSON and make sure to get rid of that comma there. Otherwise you'll have JSON errors. So I'm gonna hit save on that. It saved successfully. And then if I refresh over here in my customizer, you'll see that we have the content that we had originally with welcome to our store. And we have the color scheme saved 
the exact text saved, all of our settings that we had previously have now been copied over. And so if Shopify doesn't do it automatically like they say they're going to do, then it's pretty easy just to manually do it ourselves. And now that we can see that that information has poured it over, we can simply delete this data from within the sections object on our settings underscore data dot JSON file. Okay. So that's essentially it. That's the process guys. Header group is a good example on the Dawn theme because it has two sections within it, but you've also got footer down here. Footer is a single section. But we can of course turn this into a section group and that would allow for the admins to add other sections down here if they want and then reorder those multiple sections. So that's pretty much it for the theory behind this and we ran through the whole process. But as a secondary practice, let's just run through the footer now so we can confirm our understanding. If I go into here, exact same process. Let me go into sections, add a new section, click JSON. Now I'm going to create something called a footer group hit done and then in group name I'm going to change it to footer group and up here we will need to change it this time because it assumes header but this time it's going to be type footer and then for the sections instead of writing it and then replacing it with data from here I'm just going to simply grab the object from settings underscore data dot json and just put it straight in so I'm going to grab the footer actually has more settings so it's all of this I'll grab all of that, copy that, put it in here, and then make sure to get rid of that last comma. And then even though there's only one, we still need to add it to the order. So I'll just put footer in here, okay? Now, if I hit save on that, we've got one more step, and that is to replace the reference to the footer section in the theme.liquid with this reference to footer group now. Okay, so let me search for footer. Here we go, section footer. I'm gonna put an S on the end of section to make it sections, then add dash group to footer group, hit save. And that should be enough to get that same functionality on the footer. So I'm going back over to the customizer here, refresh the page. Here you can see we've got our header group, we've got our template. And if we look down here, we've got our footer group now as well. So we can actually add extra sections to our footer if we, for whatever reason, wanted a multimedia collage on top of the section that we already have here, then we could do that or we could, you know, put that above the footer, which probably makes more sense. There we go. And then now that's going to be part of the footer on every template that uses the theme dot liquid template. Okay. Let me just remove that section. And that's basically it, guys. Now we've got the header and the footer transformed into section groups, which basically just means that there's greater flexibility now for the admins. They can now add and reorder sections in the header and the footer and possibly a sidebar as well or any other layout element that's outside the template. Now these can act the same way as the template here with the power of JSON templates. We're now just extending basically JSON templates to sections. And that's what this feature basically represents. So that concludes today's video. If you'd like to learn more about Shopify theme development, definitely check out the links in the description of this video. And if you've learned something new today, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I'll see you on the next video.